So before we actually talk about that, I want to define a few more terms. We have supervised learning, unsupervised learning. Those are things that you're going to learn when you, when you go into AI courses. So what does it mean? Well, quickly said, supervised learning means that the computer is going to learn from examples. It means that you're going to provide some, uh, some test data, some training data to the computer, and you're going to tag it with answers. For example, in the case of the uh, image classification to recognize fruits, you, you give the computer a series of images. You say, this is an orange, this is an apple, this is a banana. And so supervised learning is great for image classification. For example, it's a, a system where the computer is going to learn from what examples you provided it, okay? And then you have unsupervised learning, where the computer is going to consider the data that you provide, and it's going to learn from that in an independent manner with very, very minimal supervision uh, by doing some statistical clustering of the data. And that can be useful, for example, to do image recognition, because if you do a facial recognition, you're going to give a picture to the computer, and then it's going to detect uh, where you have, for example, the eyebrows and the nose and the mouth, okay? Those are uh, clustering of points. Those are darker area, maybe edges if you want. And so it's going to be able to extrapolate from that data and say, okay, if I see uh, eyes above a nose and below uh, and above a mouth, sorry, uh, it's probably a face. So this is uh, something like that. We also have something else. This is called reinforcement learning. Now, this is something that I hope that our machine overlords, when they finally take the power, will never know that we do, because basically you are rewarding the computer for good behavior and kind of punishing it for bad behavior. And uh, of course, it's not great for us as a human to do that. I don't want to judge, but basically, yes, you 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 try, you fail, and you reward basically the good behavior. So this would be reinforcement-based learning. Now, in this session and in the rest of the session, we are going to concentrate on supervised learning. So uh, basically, image recognition, image classification, something like that. And to understand how those Ws and Bs are calculated, we need to talk about something else, a little bit mathematics again, about derivative. Derivative are used to calculate the slope of a function. So let's imagine that we have here a blue line, okay? And this blue line, we want to calculate the slope of the blue line. We are going to say, all right, we measure here the delta y, the, you know, between those two points and the delta x between those two points. And the slope for this line is uh, expressed as delta y divided by delta x. And it means that if you have a large delta y, the slope is going to be steep compared to delta x. Okay, if you have a, a, a large delta x compared to delta y, then the slope is going to be rather flat. And of course, that gives us some information about the slope. Of, the, of this blue line, but if we want to know the slope of the orange line at the point X, what we can do is say, let's reduce the value of X. Let's make this delta X here smaller and smaller. And in maths, we say that we let delta X tend to zero. We make it smaller and smaller. And that's here. What, how it's going to look like. So when this delta x is equal to zero, the, the slope is going to kiss, the, the, this blue line is going to kiss the orange line perfectly, and then we are going to be able to calculate the slope at this particular point. Now, for me as an engineer, I had to go through hours and hours and hours of uh, calculations to, to, to calculate derivatives, and this is very, very time consuming. And here I'm in two dimensions, so you can imagine if you go into more dimensions, very time consuming. For example, I know because because, you know, this has been impressed in my brain many, many times that the, uh, the derivative, the slope of a function, uh, of a square function is equal to 2x. Um, and uh, of course, I know that, but if I go into uh, more complicated curves, it can be very, very time consuming. Thankfully, computers are great at calculating derivatives. They are way faster than we are as a human. So it's, again, something we are going to apply. Why do we need that? 